Hello, hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. This is the last vlog of my trip to Stockholm and day 3 was unforgettable. So good morning everyone. We have quite a rough beginning because it was... Yesterday was very sunny. Today it's pouring rainy and it's my birthday! So it's a special day even though it's raining. Uh, we didn't have an umbrella so we had to run and get an umbrella for both of us. We had two ponchos and it was ridiculous. Mom was very shy about it. So we just throw them inside a bag and took this umbrella. Now let's go. We are uh, at the library of Stockholm, the public library and it's gorgeous from outside. Let's see how is it from inside. Let's go! lover like me I highly recommend you to visit this beautiful building we were there a bit too early so after waiting a bit outside we finally went inside are you okay yeah I'm fine been trying to get all of you all night we haven't talked in months that's alright. This building was officially opened in 1928 and the structure of it is so unique. When you enter, you'll be inside the rotunda. That's the main reading room. To go inside this library, you don't have to be a student. In fact, anyone can go inside. While we were roaming around, I saw many elderly people just sitting down reading their newspaper, or mothers with their children, or simply visitors like us. Take the passenger seat. After taking many pictures and discovering new streets of Stockholm, we hopped on a bus and got to our next destination. Even on our third day, we got totally lost, but thankfully, Google came and saved our day. Okay, so, hi everyone. We have come out, very out of Stockholm. Like, how many minutes away from Stockholm? We don't know, but quite far away to see a park, a sculpture park. A sculpture park. But we just dropped from the bus in a very isolated place, and the houses are like mind blowing. They're so beautiful. Beautiful. Look at the house behind me, like that one. Okay, you can see how beautiful is it from the video, but it's amazing. And there's another house on our left. It's like my dream house. It, it's all windows. Like, That's right. Oh my god, on my right side, sorry. Then there's a house on my left side. Oh god, it's so beautiful here. I want to live in in Stockholm, like every time I visit a northern country, I'm mind blown. Like, oh my god, look at this! It's crazy. Okay, so bye. If you find yourself wanting to get out of the city, then I suggest you to visit Miller's Garden, an art museum and sculpture garden just 20 minutes from downtown Stockholm. It is located on the grounds of the former home built in 1908 of sculptor Carl Miller's and his wife, painter Olga Miller's. Miller's Garden is today a very peaceful and highly Instagrammable sculpture park, visited by people coming from all over the world. Is you. If it's fine by you, I'll take the passenger seat We can drive around till the sky and see me If it's fine by you, I'll take the passenger seat I got my hands out the window, feel the ocean breeze If it's fine by you, I'll be beside you Staring out the window, looking at the summer view Fine by you, I'll be <laughs> next to you 
stand by you, I'll be beside you Speeding down the highway with the wind blowing through Everything around us feeling minuscule Hi everyone again, we are in Stockholm City Centre once again This time mom has found an organic cafe like in the middle of the woods of nowhere and she wanted to try this place so bad so now we have maybe found it and I just I'm vlogging again because I just want to show you how beautiful is it here it's like autumn kingdom it's all yellow mom it's there she's busy <laughs> taking pictures and it's all like this and we walk through like the forest usually we don't if it's in Italy or in Sri Lanka I don't think I would have ever done that but here's totally normal you see people coming out of nowhere all the time and it's gorgeous like the city even if it's a, like the capital it's just surrounded by all these trees and it's mind-blowing seriously just look like what? And this is like someone's garden and this is where we are going. That's over there mom taking pictures and this is just ridiculous like oh so beautiful. It's all yellow here but it's gorgeous. So now I'll go because it's a bit muddy and yeah see you there. If it's not my fault, fault by you, I'll take, take, take the passenger seat. If it's not my fault, fault by you, I'll take, take, take the passenger seat. If it's not my fault, fault by you, this place was so cute and totally worth to visit because the food was delicious and the decoration was quite unique. Everything in it was organic and produced by themselves. If you're lucky with a beautiful sunny day, you'll find space outside to sit otherwise indoors in their beautiful greenhouse. We were not lucky with the weather, so that's what we did. You get to sit and eat all together, like in a banquet. That's right, you might find a table for yourself or sit with total strangers. Don't get scared at this idea. You might get surprised by the company like we did. We sat with a sweet Swedish family. The mother was so kind that when she saw us, she generally offered to take a picture of me and mom. If it's not my fault, fault by you, I'll take, take, take the passenger seat. If it's not my fault, fault by you, I'll take, take, take the passenger seat. If it's not my fault, fault by you, I'll take, take, take the passenger seat. The night was still very young here guys, so we didn't stop there. On our way back to the hotel, we stopped at the Stockholm City Hall, one of Sweden's most iconic buildings. It is famous for its grand ceremonial halls and unique pieces of art. It is venue of the Nobel Prize Banquet, held on the 10th of December every year. open for visitors but obviously when we arrived it was too late so we decided to look around and enjoy the city life at night don't forget it was my birthday and you are 24 only once in life so we made a last minute plan. We went on an all girl dinner out. I was enjoying it so much that I don't have any footage of it, only pictures. Anyway, we found this lovely restaurant. Bladorn, it means blue door. The name is from a pub that was located there at the end of the 17th century. Due to the city regulation, they were not permitted to restore the door to its original color. They serve many Swedish classic dishes, and that's what we went for. I had the filet of herring, served with lingot berries, melted butter and mashed potatoes, while mom had fried alome. Last but not least, dessert, 
we had deep fried camembert with warm cloudy berry jam. Verdict? This place was so cozy and the food delicious. Totally approved. So people, if you ever go, try this place. Here we are on our last day. Since our departure was in the evening, we decided to make the most with the time we had left. So we hopped on the tube and went to visit what we couldn't before. We had to visit Ostermam Salu Hall, the seventh best food hall in the world, open since 1888. But guess what? It was under construction. Because we couldn't do much and we didn't want to get too far away from our hotel, we thought just to walk one last time the lovely roads of Stockholm. We wanted to soak in as much as possible the energy of this beautiful country. We went in a cafe and ordered two cappuccinos. Seated by the window, we just stayed there. We talked, took Polaroid pictures, watched people passing by and wrote postcards to family and friends. This trip was taken last year in 2019. Now we all know 2020 what kind of year it was. I'm pretty sure that many like me are struggling when they think about the future when they think about all this uncertainness. But in that moment, think of all the good memories, the happiness you lived, the loved ones you still have around. It's not all gone. We just have to learn to do things in a different way, a better way. So start living the moment, live now, learn new things. And if you know anyone struggling more than you, help them. There's always a rainbow at the end of a storm. Thank you for watching you guys. I hope this made you smile and didn't make you miss traveling too much. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Please leave a comment down below. I love reading all your comments and click that like button. So see you soon you guys. Mwah. Ciao.